Gold, gold Star. Star. Gold cool. Star. Yeah, and that's another one where it's like, okay, Josh, like, rhythm-wise, like, what kind of progressions can we fuck with? Like, what kind of feelings are we feeling? And, and you kind of were like, I, I love this progression. I love this. It little. is a Nashville yeah. staple of, like, just chord-wise. Mm -hmm. But the vibe, I was like, I started with that synth sound that I really like. Yeah, the, that one's really cool. Like, yeah. that, that warbly synth sound, and kind of built the progression off that. Um... But yeah. I remember I started like the burst. Yeah, I did wasn't a that weird thing. wasn't that one where it's like you know like I was like it's, it's just gonna be this old. Wasn't it like <laughs> more like you up at two a.m. by yourself? Like, yeah. <laughs> isn't that one of the ones where I, it's think like, I was just like, <laughs> yeah. is that how that happened? I or, think that one, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. how that happened. And you had like this little demo, and yeah, it was like it, it was, was like a weird that, burst. Yeah. I had a yeah. very weird burst, and then it was like and it's like, just gotta okay, be, it's let's just gotta be that one. Let's develop, and then we start development. We all got in there into the room. We were like, okay, how can we like shape this and. How do we do a chorus? How do we like make it different? And yeah. then, and then at a point where like let's just give up and try and make anything. Let me work on some lyrics, and then yeah. we'll try to structure it after that a little yeah. bit too. Yeah. And I dig how that one actually does kind of like ascend the whole time. It doesn't really like change too yeah. much, but all different elements like come in and out. And the way that yeah. you play off what I'm playing is like so yeah. cool. Like they, the two parts play off. Yeah, each other. yeah, hell I yeah. Love that. I, I love doing yeah. that. And and that's it's a hard uh, it's a hard progression to like almost make a chorus for it. So, it's like I almost love the challenge to be like, okay, like how can I like, you know, like make this not boring because yeah. it's like, it's such like, man, like it, it, writing verses to that progression is just the funnest thing in the world. You can go all day, you can yeah. go all day, but to try to make like a chorus out of it and then almost try to like, it just turned into something like, I don't know what the structure is. Like, I don't know how it plays it. It's just, it, we just let it be what it That's was. It's not a traditional, like... Yeah, and we kept trying to make chords. Remember, we were, like, we were like, let's try, like, let's do this for and this for and And it's just, you take away from what it was or what it yeah. is, and it just shaped into what it needed to be, yeah. I think one of the coolest things is, like, when you have a progression like that, like, there's so many options, but you're also writing within your limitations, which forces you to do things you wouldn't naturally do, which is kind of cool. Yeah. About that song. Yeah. I had a lot of fun recording that one, because we did a lot of... Like different tonality. Oh, that was yeah. really. Cool. We did a lot of oh, different yeah. tonality stuff with the drums. Like yeah, I, snare tones. Yeah, I put my cool. like I put my tie dye tank top over the snare drum to like dampen it, and yeah. it gave it like a really like dead 1970s like crispy snare sound. It's yeah. the tie dye where you get the tone. Right. Yeah, yeah, all about the tie dye. And then we put like a full size tambourine on top of the top hi hat symbol, and like yeah. I put a really weird. Um, I was doing like eighth notes, but I also like skipped one note like every yeah. four or five beats. And it, like, yeah, and Will was like, do that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then I was like, holy shit. And I was like, man, like, Creek in here stole the shit. It's like, yeah. It's like, drummers are going to be like, that's sick. It's such a pocket. Yeah. It's pocket like if you're a musician, you're looking at the drummer, you're like, damn, yeah. Really fucking cool. so it, it was really cool when you came with that. Track. I love that. Yeah. And it was cool, like, you were in. That was really cool about also you jumping on the album. When our first time working with you, I mean, you were in that room, and we were like shouting shit at you, like, yeah, like do that, yeah, yeah, and like you were just like down to do whatever, and you were like having fun. And it was like a really fun game of hot and cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. You're like that's a good way to put it. You're like, oh yeah. no, Travis Barker. I'm like, okay, more notes. More yeah. Notes then. And then we're like. Yeah. We don't know what we're saying. <laughs> we yeah, don't know we what we're not, we want. Yeah, we are not drummers. It's, yeah. like, it's hard to communicate sometimes, but I think we found a good love yeah. language. Also, the, yeah. I feel like a lot of times your first, your natural instinct tends to be like pretty much right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just That's reminding nice. the natural instinct. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think, man, lyrically it was cool to write to it, and it became really like, you know, like, and I always say like, uh, Dangerous Summer has never really had like a true, true love song of, like I love you, I love you. You know, there's always conflict in it. Even this song is a little bit of conflict in it, but the rare moments when like I express the true thought of love and the deepness of love, it's, it's always a special thing. I think uh, people will feel that and you know relate to. It. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool.